This video will continue the discussion about risk management and risk assessment. In this video, we will discuss the seventh step of the NIST Outline nine-step process for performing a risk assessment, specifically the risk determination, or taking all of the information from the previous six steps or the risk assessment and determining what is the real risk involved to the system. This formula for calculating can be thought of as simply taking the likelihood that was estimated in the previous section and multiplying that to the impact and giving us some level of the idea of risk estimation. For example, if there is a low likelihood and a low impact, then most likely the risk level we are prioritizing would be low. This is all very fuzzy. It's not a hard science with hard, fast mathematical formulas. What the end goal is, is making some kind of determination and prioritizing the various risks. Some of it might even just come down to experts' gut feeling on a particular likelihood and impact. We have found in CTSC that putting this information into a spreadsheet is very useful. As a result, we created, based on information from NIST standards, a simple mathematical formula that can be used. Don't read too much into the numbers. They're there to help with a certain amount of the priority. It does ease things a little bit in helping you figure out and prioritize various risk values. By following the X and Y axis for likelihood and impact, it allows you to simply give a ranking value to each risk that has been identified. Thereby, then processing and prioritizing those values is a very simple and easy way to do things. It can be programmed into a spreadsheet, and it works very well for doing risk assessments. Once you have used the previous process of crossing the likelihood and impact to obtain an overall risk score, you can give a rating to the overall risk as a simple matter of giving a high, medium, and low. Highs are ones that obviously you will want to address immediately. These are the ones that you will want to look at and develop good controls to mitigate. Medium and low ones can probably wait for a little while and potentially be dealt with at a later point. The value here is identifying the high-valued risks that need immediate attention. In this video, we have looked at making determinations of what the actual risk is to your system for each threat identified. This determination then helps you prioritize how to address each risk. If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. You can get contact and other information on the CTSC website, trustedci.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI 1234408.